Good morning. This is Gifty Etc. from giftyetc.blogspot.com and today I'm just going to give you an example of how someone does a daily review. It's just the first thing that you do with your planner every day and in a daily review we just make sure that we know exactly what's on the agenda for today and if too much is on the agenda you need to make choices about what you're going to do. The first step in every daily review is to open up your planner and on the very first page I'm going to tear out this old page because it's all processed. On the very first page your dashboard you need to jot down anything that you need to remember today. Um, it may not be in your planner yet. You'll process that and put it in your planner but this dashboard is going to let you jot down whatever you need to do today. The next thing you need to do is just take a glance at your project list. Make sure you know what projects you're currently working on. You don't need to go through each project and see what's due, but for example, I know that I need to finish my outlining for National November Writing Month sometime today. I'd really like to get to that. I'm just putting that information into my brain. It's not that I'm going to necessarily do that. It's not in the plan, but it's in my brain. So if I have some free time, I know that's what I want to focus on. Next, you're going to go, you can skip your task because you're probably not going to get to extra task in any given day, but you're going to go to your monthly and weekly section. And you can see in my monthly section, I need to look at what's on the agenda for today. I did carpool with the kids this morning. And I have nothing else tonight. My husband's going to bring my child to karate, but I don't have to do that. So today's not a very busy day. And then I look at my weekly section and I go down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today's Thursday. I've already taken my morning meds, which I put on my planner only because it's a temporary situation. I still need to do my blood pressure log and I'd like to go on a walk. I had a bunch of errands to do today. Notice I had put them all on today because I knew I'd be going to do errands. I had already taken care of two of them, so those were already scratched out. But I went ahead and numbered one, two, three, four, the order that I was going to do the errands. And I did that very early this morning. Let me move that to where you can see it. So one, two, three, four. Just numbered them, knocked them out this morning. And now I have a list of things that I need to take care of at home today. That's about it for a daily review. A daily review doesn't look at every single part of your planner. It just looks at the dashboard, your ongoing projects, today's schedule in your monthly pages, and today's task in your weekly pages. I can tell that today's going to be pretty busy, so I'm probably not going to add anything else. If I do have to add something today, I'll probably move something that's currently on the list to another day to get to it. That's it. That's all a daily review is. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want more planner tips, you can go to giftyetc.blogspot.com. Thanks.